In our last video, we talked about starting IT career as a student with some education information from a valid source. So today, we're going to start how to apply for jobs with no experience as a student. And you're actually putting yourself in a scenario. So we have created this scenario for you. So we have A, B, C, and D. These are the people. I'm not going to name them. These are A, B, C, and D. So A thinks by looking at the screen, the requirement is actually none. Work experience is none and on the job training is none. So you know what? I'm just going to get up and apply. Apply to this job that says entry level position and they have some information. They, they usually didn't put anything else and I'm just going to go apply. This is the confidence level of A. But most of the people, 99.9% .9 of the people will not have this type of confidence without having any training. So then this person will not be very successful landing an IT job. So we're going to go to B. B, student B is also looking at the screen. But student B also realized that there is a standard in this for this career, there's a standard certification that a lot of people look for. An HR manager looks for this cert type of certifications and this is the leading certifications and no doubt about that. And that is called A+, CompTIA A+. This is, this is a certification that a lot of people will start from. But B will have much better luck than A because B is following what other people are following. This is the rules. These are the way we hire people. And that's how HR departments and people who really hire you works that way. That is kind of the known way. So B is on the right direction. She either got the certification or going for the certification. Now we have another person, uh, another student C. C already have A plus and C is also going for some college education and that is going to be his or her IT degree. So C is going to have even much more better chances than A and B together. But then there is another person that is just saying, I am only taking jobscleshare.org courses. How am I going to compete against these three right here? So the solution is very different and very effective. Let me tell you, let me give you an example over here. Let's go to indeed.com and let's just, in a reality right now, look for a job. Entry level helped us find jobs. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what will happen is that this search will come out with all these titles. Help this, help this, system support. All of these are entry level positions. So when it comes to reality where you are going to look for a job and you're in these three categories, A, B, and C, the problem is this. A lot of people will go and take all these certifications, A+, CCNA, MCSA, and all of these three categories are still confused because when they go to these titles and when they click on it, most of the requirements are pretty different than what they have learned in the certifications. The problem with the certification specifically, either if it's A+, is a pretty broad certification. So it doesn't tell you things that actually happen in reality. It is going to let you just pass things and some people can really, really pass this in a few days. And that's not going to actually help you in interviews. Now with this person, this may be a better option because this person is already uh, getting trained with someone in college that are already an IT professional or maybe a professor and they're giving you some information. But I have noticed that a lot of colleges are following books and their focus is now they will give you like an online certification uh, courses where you just read the videos and then there will be some labs and you do that and that's still towards passing certifications. I have yet to see any real world courses where people are going to go and apply for jobs over here and then they will be able to answer these questions. Like for example, I have so many people that didn't know in these three categories, how do you actually use Active Directory to add people, reset their passwords, and these are the basic calls you will get as an IT person. So we teach you reality. We teach you first 
we have designed our courses in a way that when you finish it four or five courses when you finish that you're able to go in interview with a high confidence and then sit in front of the HR manager or an IT person and say I am doing the things that you're doing in a daily life so this is the courses that I'm doing right now I have done all this if they ask you questions about Active Directory can you reset the password say yes I have done the Active Directory course can you do a work on Office 365 because A plus is not teaching you that in some of the colleges and education they will not teach you that because their focus is certification this person will be able to answer that and your resume will look different because a lot of people are looking for keywords so these three are going to miss some of the keywords that are not in this certification or their education but the keyword will be found in this guy the D which is going to show you in resume when somebody's scanning the resume like okay I'm looking for Active Directory I'm looking for Office 365 I'm looking for software deployments this is exactly what, what we're doing at work so this would be a perfect fit because we don't have to train this person from scratch that's where the key is this is where why we are so successful and why our members are so happy because it is not only training you to become an entry level person in IT our training is designed for you to advance your career so the things that you're learning you're not going to be stuck in one cycle it is always going to push you to go further and if your goal is to become a system admin then there will be a smooth way or a very clean way for you to just use that route and become a system admin if you want to become a CCNA or uh, let's say for example you want to become a network engineer then that will be also clear now at this point we are only focusing on the entry level to system admin but in future we'll have all this clear and just like the videos we're creating right now so hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of how we are functioning in this platform but again a B C and D you may see so many people that will come to you and say I didn't have none of this and I still landed and that's why I said that in the beginning that this is a field where there's no requirement so it is all about your confidence it is all about you how much practical steps you're going to take after this and if you want to make it easier for yourself then you want to be in this category and of course we're not saying that you shouldn't go for all other ones you should be going for that because we're going to give you resources to actually follow a plus and maybe some other things but combination of all of this is going to either save you a lot of time or at the end you will decide that is this career for you as a student or you want to invest in it or not that is all going to get cleared in few more sections so in summary the main point of this video is for us to enable you to take our courses and plus you should be able to take other certification with our resources that we're going to provide and at the end you should be very comfortable and your confidence level will be really high just like any other members that we have and you should be able to come here and apply for these jobs so that is the main goal of our outcome from these courses in our next videos we are going to discuss real world daily scenarios now I have skipped this for students because you may not be in this category but you can actually watch this video for more details but the real world students section is going to show you what we do in a real world and that's where you're preparing your mind for this career that after seeing the information after knowing that now you can do things in here now what do we do actually what are you going to be doing when you finish your education that's everything over here. Thank you and I'll see you in this section.